Hi, it's Maggie Davis, aka Mini Minx on YouTube and The Captain. Um, I just wanted to share with you this handmade vintage junk journal. It's Christmas themed um, and it's junk journal number two. So I've laminated the cover. I did I had did put up a similar one um to this on YouTube and um, it's been sold, so I thought I would do another one. So it's slightly different, the papers are different in it, but it's similar, if that makes sense. So the journal itself is eight and a quarter by five inches. That's roughly 21 centimeters by 12 and a half. The spine's about one inch, there's your spine, and that's roughly about three centimeters. Um, I have used this large choker in here to, it's got a dangly bell, etc. at the bottom, to use it as a page marker inside. It's a double thickness choker. Um, I have recycled it. I didn't use it. Um, I've not I've not worn it, but I've recycled it and added on a big dangly bell, a button, and a little charm there that I've made. So that can be attached there at the bottom. I've just used a bulb pin um, with it, but I just thought when you were journaling in this junk journal, then you could use that as your marker. So I've glued it at the top um, and there's a parrot clasp on there and I've added on this little charm as well with its funky fibres beads on it um, and I just thought it went. Um, there's one signature inside it. I've used elasticated jewellery. I keep calling this wire, but it's elasticated jewellery A. Uh, Elastic is what I should say. Um, I keep calling it wire when I'm doing my videos. I don't know why. So it do, it will stand like that. I've used laminated um, the laminated cover on it, front and back, because I thought, well, Christmas time you get spillages, etc. An easy tie closure with raffia. I've used a sort of whitey cream colour on here, and I've added on this little charm, which is just a wooden gift, and I've just used some baker's twine and just tied it on. You could take that off and move it somewhere else, very simple, etc. So, um, I've set the sizes. Inside's roughly about 80 pages, um, that's 160 sides, um, and the... There's pattern papers, plain papers, coffee stain papers, um, and the inside front and back cover, I've made a pocket and it's got a little notebook each in it. And throughout the journal, there is handmade tags. There's stickers that I've attached to this. It's Christmas themed, as I said. Um, there's no stamping in this one, though. I did have stamping in the previous one, but not in this one. There's no stamped images. I have used ribbon. Um, I've, I've stapled it on here and there. Um, which I thought just added to the journal. There's flip up pages, flip out pages, and like I said, it's Christmas themed. So we'll quickly show you it um, and hope you like it. So as I said, or if I've not said, this will be for sale on my Etsy, Minx Creations UK. So it's a peach coloured, um, a peach coloured page marker here that I've used. So I've actually used quite a thick choker and it's got, as I say, there, you've got a jingle jangle bell that I've attached a little charm um, to the inside. And this is the inside. And here, I've used a little pocket in there. That's that there I've added in, I thought it went with the red, but it actually is the glued part of where the raffia tie closure is there. So it's been hot glue gunned in the, in the inside. So front and back cover has an inside pocket and in it I've just made a handmade little notebook, just paper on the front, stapled it, and it's just copy of paper in there. Um, so you can journal, etc. Now, this is a vintage, handmade vintage junk journal. Um, I'll probably just repeat this, that um, a vintage junk journal is made to look old or vintage look. Uh, although all these papers are brand new, or these papers are, are new, photocopy of paper is new, but some of them I've... Um, added coffee to them and stained them and put it in my oven to let them crinkle up etc so they might look like old you know to make it look old etc and that's hence why it's called a vintage junk journal um, and the stickers I've put some stickers here and there and on this journal like there are some stars onto that beautiful paper hope you can see that there um, I thought that was it's a deer isn't it it's lovely the papers so we'll just cut the show. Coffee stain papers. This ribbon 
here is new and I've just uh, just cut it randomly, not straight even, just whatever, and I've stapled on, but I actually thought it was quite nice because it's got Christmas trees on it. Can you see that? Yep. Um, and you can journal underneath, really. I was just trying to add some things that I've got, use up my Christmas stash. And I've made a little tuck spot here. I've glued this, made a little tag. So from the papers that I've got, I've ripped the edges so they're not even. I've ripped the sides and I've made a little tag on the top. I've just stapled it on that you could journal inside here or put a little picture. So and that's kind of the theme, how it's went throughout of it. Um, throughout the journal. It's a coffee stain paper and I've got some foil stickers here. You can't see it on there. Some foil stickers there. Um, I've added some of the paper that might be in the journal. I've just made tab tops and stapled them on. So we've got this beautiful paper. I made a little, just a little tag here that slips in. Um, one like this that I thought was quite cute and it comes like that, just like that. Slots into to this little bit. Slots in up there. So I'm trying to see try to hold the journal um up at the same time. We'll try and do it like this. There's a flip up here, so we've got a deer. That's quite lovely paper, eh? On that. Um and this one you could put a picture there, it says Christmas greetings. I made a little tag there, it's a double tag, I'm not gonna bother taking it out on there in this ribbon which I do like, um, it's got, and I've put some foiled snowflakes there. That one says Happy Christmas at the top. Some nice paper there. Another tag, it's a double one. I've just ripped the edges and put a tab top on it. Um, and then some smaller pages here. A little tag there and a flip up. Peekaboo is what I always say to that. And another flip up there which you could journal underneath. Um, I just like the papers and it breaks up the photocopier paper. So I've made another, I've glued part of that and made a tuck spot and it's a double tag again on it. You could put a picture in there. Then I've used that ribbon here with the Christmas trees and put it in, a little tuck spot here as well. And some foiled snowflakes there. So as I said, the, the papers, some of these are printed papers, some are from a pad of paper, some copier paper, and then some copier paper that I've coffee stained, but they were all new. Um, they might, it's just to give it an old aged look um, in here. And what I've done is used some Christmas tags, etc., and just glued them in here and there. So I decided I wasn't stamping in this one. You could stamp in it if you wanted to. And some flip up here and some... Um, hologram stars is what I'm trying to say. So it's another tag here. Most of the tags I think are doubled on this. There you go and you could put a picture in there. And also with paper like this it's quite um, quite bold paper. I think it can break it up and it can still all match in. So we're onto this page and there's a large beautiful Christmas tree there and it flips up. Just creates more space for journaling. Another tag. And this one. So for Christmas, you could keep, you know, when you get your tags off people, if you're getting any presents, etc., and you could actually glue in or staple in or um, put the tags off your presents that people have bought you. That's lovely paper as well, isn't it? Pine cones and is it Rosetta? I think the flowers are here. Um, Ponzetta, <laughs> I think it is. Eh? Those Ponzetta plants. Oh, um, I think that's what you call them, Ponzettas. So we've got another tuck spot here in the tag. Might be a solo tag. It's a single tag. It's not a double one, that one. So we've got various pages of paper that you could add in of your you could add in your pictures as well at Christmas time or just your thoughts. So we've got some of that beautiful ribbon there with the Christmas trees on it and a flip up. And thanks to Joe who told me that it was a little it was a cardinal, the little bird, um, on my previous journal. I couldn't remember. I think I was calling it a, 
I think I meant to say a chaffin or a chiffin, but it's a cardinal, a red cardinal. Um, so thank you, Joe, <laughs> for telling me, because I couldn't remember, but I did say they were so, so cute. So like a Star of Bethlehem there eh, in the foil. It's like the hologram type. And that's the centre of this one. And I've just added in this crochet thread that I've um, made the signature with, and that's elastic in there. And I've added in these red things, but that paper in itself. So there's a lot of like peachy pink tones. And that's why I thought that um, the page marker, aka the choker, actually goes really nice in here because it matches in with the tone, uh, some of the papers. And that paper flips out. Um, I didn't want to cut it because I just thought that was too nice. But again, you could either glue top and bottom and make that into a tuck spot or just journal at that side of it and leave it as it is. Um, just didn't want to break up the picture. I've done another one here, but it's, a, it's just in copier paper that flips out like that. And I've made a little top spot here for a tag and that big star in there. So it just creates extra pages. Eh? Coffee stain paper there and some of the, a small thing there with the paper that can be seen throughout. And then there's a, just this one that I've done a tab top. Um, so let me see what else we've got here. Christmas greetings up there. And then we've got that paper. So you can put a picture in there and a tag there. Tag fell out there, but I'll put it in at the end. So and that one, and it flips out like that. And then you've got this beautiful paper there. It's Ponzetta and pine cones. I mean, that is really nice, isn't it? And this one flips out like that. Or you could go there and make a pocket there. Tile it up to yourself. There's a tag fell out at the bottom down here. I'm not sure where it is from. It's a double tag, but if I see it, I'll put it in. And if not, I'll go, once I come off camera, I'll find out where it went. So that one flips up. That's quite pretty as well, eh? Pretty paper. And then it's a little squirrel trying to get the nuts off the Christmas tree. Um, and a bit of ribbon there goes up like that onto the coffier, copier paper, coffee stain paper there. And this one's got a hologram snowflake. Warmest winter wishes on this side. You could put a nice picture there. And then you've got a flip up there of that with hologram stars. And then we've got some other paper, beautiful big star. That one flips up. And then we've got sort of one that comes out like that with that ribbon and I've put that in there I've just stapled that on just a bit I just thought it added some interest to the page really and then this one something's fell out again on this so we've got a little tag there it's because of the way I'm holding this with the camera I'm trying to let you see and then we've got this nice paper and some more of that ribbon and this one it flips up and then this page it's got a tag on it but it also flips out flips out like that and it's open. and then this one tag in there so you're getting quite a lot of pages and flips up and um, that you could journal in journal over christmas and then this one, I've put a little tag on it and some snowflakes and that flips out like that for that beautiful paper, which is lovely. And then on this side, we've got flip up. And I was just going to say there, some candles here. I've just started to make some of my own candles. I made some last night. Um, I'm just, I'm making them for myself at the minute. Um. I didn't know this, but apparently once you make them, you're supposed to let them cure for a week. Mm, I didn't know that before I started. But anyway, I'm just trying them out just now. Um, I can't smell. <laughs> I can't, but uh, I do love tea lights and wax melts and things like that. But I'm just trying them out and see how I get on with them. So, a little top spot here and a flip up here. A lantern. Christmas lantern there and then you've got happy holidays and that lovely paper on that side 
and a little tuck spot here and a little tag decided to fall out but it's just a little tag I will show you that pops down like that and then slots back in here so and then a flip up that lovely paper it's bells Christmas bells and then we've got a little tag that fits in like that on that bit and that comes out and then this one and then this one um, could either be glued there at the top and bottom and made a tuck spot it's actually to that page there which I thought was lovely so and I've put some stars up there you've got your big um, peach rolls there and then the inside back pocket so just mimicking what the front cover, inside front cover was so you've got this little notebook in there just copy it, copy a paper inside. I've just stapled it and a little tag. I actually think one of those double tags were from the inside cover that I put in. So that one shall go in here and I'll just show you the back of this. And that's the paper off the back. So absolutely lovely, isn't it? Ho, ho, ho. So yes, as I said, this is going to be for sale um, on my Etsy, Minx Creations UK. Uh, many thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.